Good morning guys, Lauren Hughes here with Lean Squad Fit. Wanted to touch base with you this morning, first of all, to see how everybody's doing. I hope everybody is having an awesome, awesome start to the day. I hope everyone had a good night's sleep. I hope everybody woke up feeling rested, in a positive mindset, ready to tackle the day, that you ate your breakfast, maybe some of you even already worked out, but are starting the day strong. So. Today, I'm sharing with you what I typically have for breakfast and what I normally put into it and why I have it for breakfast. So, let's start with why I have it for breakfast. Number one, it's just super easy. I usually blend it, but if I'm in a super big hurry or, you know, I just don't feel like blending it, whatever the reason, I'll just shake it up in a shaker cup with cold water, sometimes milk, um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, just depending on the day. But... My favorite is to just take a second, blend it up in a blender, and it's just so much better that way because you can add ice and any other fruits and vegetables that you want to throw into it. Um, and it just tastes, it's just a little bit better consistency and it's really cold. So it just makes it a little bit better. It's like a smoothie, right? So I'm gonna break it down what I put in it. Usually I just keep water because I like to, I'm following a certain meal plan, right? And so why sorry this keeps getting really dark um and so i just like to keep it easy by just keeping the basics so water we're gonna add eight ounces of water so measure that one cup all right and then i've already got one leveled scoop of my chocolate vegan dump that in all right, and usually I'll use half of a banana, but I'm switching it up this week and going with blueberries. So typically any kind of berry is going to be one of your healthiest fruits. They've got a lot of antioxidants, fiber, just good nutrients in um, berries. So blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all good things. So I'm going to add a cup of this. This is my purple container. So for any of you who are following, following the 21 Day Fix or almost any of our newer programs, this, this meal plan is included with the program. So seriously, the easiest meal plan and the most realistic meal plan that you could ever use. So if you're not sure about what to do with nutrition, talk to me. Let me show you how this works. But So this is my purple container, which is fruits. And I'm gonna add in a cup, a whole cup of blueberries. Okay, so instead of my, my banana today, which would normally be just half, I'm gonna do a full freaking cup of blueberries. Those are frozen blueberries, so they can be fresh or frozen. And then my newest addition that I like to add is pumpkin. So it's not chopped, it's just I bought canned pureed. Make sure you read the ingredients. Usually they, they don't put a bunch of you know yucky stuff in that, but it's just pureed pumpkin. So um, I did a little bit less. This is again my green container, which is for my veggies. I don't measure everything out all the time, but for the purpose of this video, which keeps going dark, I wanted to just show you guys kind of how they work. So I'm used to serving sizes a little bit by now, or I am by now, so I don't you know, measure every meal, but if you're not sure, measure them out. And you really should, like get a food scale or any, any kind of measurement tool. You wanna measure that out to make sure you're getting the appropriate serving sizes. So I'm already kind of aware of you know what I need to be eating but for video purposes I'm just demonstrating so I did slightly less than what the green container calls for because pumpkin is usually <laughs> is usually um, I think it calls for chopped or something like that so I know that puree can kind of make it seem like a little bit less so I didn't want to overdo it but we're gonna put that whole thing in the blender because why I like vegetables, but if I'm gonna eat them, I want them to be cooked. And it's usually easiest for me to get them at dinner. I just like to have veggies at dinner. Um, and during the day, like lunch is usually, I'll have a sandwich or I'll have a salad. So I don't like, I just don't like too many raw vegetables. Let's just say that. And this makes it super easy to make sure that I still get all the servings I need, which means I have less cravings because my body, my body is being fed the nutrients it needs, which most of you don't know. If you're craving something, that means you need probably one of two things, water, lots of hydration, and or there's some missing nutrients somewhere in your day to day. 
So make sure that that's balanced. And again, a program or nutrition meal plan such as this, can you see me, is what can help. So talk to me if you need that. But as from that, we're gonna get a cup. Sometimes I'll add PB2, and sometimes I'll add one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, but this is my first time actually trying this particular blend, so what I'm gonna do is just add the normal amount of ice that I add, and then blend it up. So I'm gonna pause you really quick, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll come back and sample it, and I'll let you know how we need to add anything or forget. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And what I did, I blended it all up. I didn't want it to be super loud um, in the video. So um, if you haven't had, I'm sure many of you have had blueberries before if you like fruit and you like berries. Um, so you know that blueberries as a fruit are kind of berries in general, really. Raspberries are a little bit sweeter, but they're not a super sweet fruit like an apple or grapes or even bananas if they're ripe. Like they're not quite as sweet. Um, and then pumpkin puree, puree excuse me, is actually pretty bland too it t to me it reminds me of like pureed sweet potato or like mashed sweet potato but again not that same sweet flavor so of course the shake that you make or blend up the smoothie that you make is going to be what you put in it right so it wasn't super super overpowering sweet but it wasn't so bland and i'm like this is disgusting but what i like about the puree is that it makes it really smooth so if you like, I mean, I don't want to say a pudding texture because you don't want it to be that thick. But add, I had to add a little bit more water, which I did. Um, and just play with your ice a little bit, how thick you want it, the texture that you want. It's really easy to just kind of maneuver it um, to fit your taste. It's dark again. Um, but I did just add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And honestly, that kind of balanced it all out. So it's just... Everything that you do meal plan wise is trial and error and just learning by experience. So the first recipe I ever made was probably crap. Like I probably, you know, not with my shake necessarily, but anything that you make, like trial and error. Like the first time you make something, it might be nasty, it might be really good. And then you try to repeat it and maybe it wasn't as good the next time or maybe it was way better. So just experiment with your foods. But again, so this morning, my shake, I've got protein, I've got my two, actually only one veggie, you know what I forgot? I normally throw in spinach. So I forgot my spinach because normally I will have two vegetables already in the morning with my one shake or additional vegetables because my shake already covers the bare essentials that I need in a day. So everything else I get is just that freaking bonus. So um, I didn't put spinach in it today, but it is a nice dark blueberry chocolatey color. So. If you haven't tried it, as nasty as you think some of these sound, you guys, you can't knock something until you try it, right? So if you need a little help in the nutrition department, make it easy on yourself. Like, stop making it so hard. If it's something you need help with, reach out to me. Happy to do it. So that's my breakfast every morning. I don't want to keep rambling on. So everybody have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll catch up later. Bye.